Hi there, Noah with the Marketing and Training Department here. This is part two of our Optimizing Sales video series, and in this video we're going to talk about upselling. Now before we dive in, I want to encourage you to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking on the little banner up there in that corner. That way you never miss any updates. Now, as I said, we're, this is going to be a video about upselling, and we use suggested add-ons for that. Suggested add-ons, of course, are the upselling prompt that your customers see when they put items in their cart. And I think a lot of us are just kind of using the standard suggested add-on. You know, we put our popcorn machine and our snow cone machine and tables and chairs and maybe a couple other things in there. And we basically just apply that to every item. So, you know, any, anytime someone puts something in their cart, it says people who have purchased this have also purchased the following. And it's always the same stuff. Well, that's fine. I mean, you're still upselling. It's better than nothing. But you can really optimize that. For example, when somebody puts a table in their cart, you can really lead the first thing that you put in the suggested add-on that they see after they've done that. It can be chairs, right? So you can really kind of tailor your suggested add-ons to the items that people are putting in their cart. And that can, again, help you increase your average ticket size. So let's go ahead and take a look at the suggested add-ons. And we're going to find those under Admin, Products, Add-ons. Yep, it looks like I've just got the two add-ons in here. One of them is the standard, which is for upselling, and the other is for people's free snow cone flavor, because I do include a free flavor with the snow cone machine. So it's not ideal, because what that means is standard is the only upselling add-on that even exists in my folder here. And so when people put their, when they choose their free snow cone flavor, they're going to just still see that standard suggested add-on. And the first item in that standard suggested add-on is a snow cone machine, which they already just put one in their cart. So it's a little bit of a wasted opportunity. So let's go ahead and make a few more suggested add-ons to really try to optimize things here. So I'm going to start by copying this one, and I'm going to call this additional snow cone flavors because I'm going to prompt people to order additional snow cone flavor packets for $5 each. So let's take the snow cone machine out of there and re let's replace it with one of the additional snow cone flavor packets and add a couple more slots that we can put the other two flavors in. Okay, so we've got those in there and then we could even change the phrasing. All right, so this is good to go. I'm going to go ahead and submit this. And so then we need to apply that suggested add-on to our snow cone flavor packets. So let's see here. And you know what? It's easiest to do this in spreadsheet mode. And then let's go ahead and order everything by category. Okay, so my hidden category is where my base snow cone flavor packet uh, items live. So, okay, so we're going to go with, instead of schedule profile default, we're going to go with additional snow cone flavors. And then we're going to do the same for the other two. So let's go ahead and see this in action. So I'm going to go into, actually, you know what? I'm going to open up the website. Okay, so there's my first suggested add-on. I'm going to add the snow cone machine to the cart. Choose my free flavor, and I should see that new additional snow cone flavors. Yep, there it is. Sweet. So I will get some grape as well. Love me that fake purple flavor. So you get the idea. Basically, the idea is to really, really be strategic about what you're upselling, depending on what people are putting in their carts. If they're putting tents in their cart, you probably want to lead with tables and chairs. If they're putting bounce houses in their cart, maybe you want to lead with concession machines. Of course, you know, I'm sort of just spouting off the top of my head here, you know your market better than I do. But yeah, really try to think about what items go with what other items, and you can reorder them, create new add-ons. You can really get strategic with that. So, you know, in this case, I think that probably the next thing I will do is I'll go ahead and create another suggested add-on that I'm going to call something like Face Painter, and I'm going to put that on the additional snow cone flavor items so that somebody 
gets their snow cone machine, they're prompted to purchase an additional snow cone flavor, and then they're prompted to do a, a face painter. Or maybe the next thing I might lead with would be tables and chairs. So again, you know your market, and you know what goes with what, and you know it, when you're upselling over the phone with your customers, what are you suggesting? You know, so sort of try to replicate that in the way that you do this. So that's it. I hope this was helpful. As always, we're happy to hear any feedback, questions, comments, concerns. Please feel free to reach out to the tech support department at 505-435-9731, extension 102, or support at eventrentalsystems.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching, and we'll see you soon.